thanks for tuning in. Hi guys, I'm Kat. And I'm Cam. We're gearheads here at Backcountry. We're going to talk to you about some of our travel gear, uh, the ski and boot bags for the winter season. First up, we do have our boot bag. It's got some improvements from our last model. We're excited to show you guys. As you can see, kind of behind us, we've got a pretty exciting lineup of colors. We've got matching colors for both the double ski and snowboard rolling bag, as well as our boot bags. Some of the features for the boot bag this year include stowable shoulder straps, that integration clip system with the rollable ski bag. Some other cool features, we do now include some vents down here, so it does help let some of that moisture out from your boots when they're wet. The backside, has a nice little ID spot here, so if you want to put some identification for while you're traveling, you slot that in here. The backside's pretty cool. This whole piece just uh, basically sits flat. You can put some layers right here for while you're traveling. You can also use this and just put it on the ground and stand on it to change and put your boots on. It's a nice little platform, so you're not kind of doing the one foot balance thing in the parking lot. Yeah. You know? Another great feature is that the shoulder straps are stowable. So when you integrate it with the ski and snowboard rolling bag, you can get these out of the way simply by unclipping the bottoms and tucking them into these integrated pockets. Get them out of your way for traveling. Can we do it? You can do it. Good enough. <laughs> and the clips at the bottom of the straps also stow kind of down by your waistline and the padding as well. These are some nice, pretty thick and cushioned padding pieces right here. So it is gonna be pretty comfortable to, to wear while you're in the airport and moving around. Flipping back to the front, talking about some of the materials on this bag. We've got a really burly PVC outer layer here to protect against any damage, uh, just generally help with durability and protecting against the elements. Looking at storage, a couple awesome features with the new boot bag are fleece lined and specific fleece lined goggle pockets to keep your lenses unscratched while traveling. There's a ton of storage in this bag, full space for a helmet, extra gear, extra clothing, snacks if you're on the road. Awesome water bottle pockets, traveling through airports and on the road as well. Yeah, and then one more pocket just on this front panel right here. Another great spot to store some small items. You can put gloves, socks. Usually I like to have an extra pair of dry socks handy. Whatever you want, easily accessible, balaclavas, skaters, all the good stuff right here. Really versatile bag. Great for traveling, great for your day, you know, trip to the mountain, from the mountain, or longer trips through airports or train stations, bus stations, everything. This bag will get you there. So there's lots of space for your boots, fully standing up inside the bag, easy to store, easy to keep them dry, and easy to pack more gear on top of them. Totally, yeah, and just a little quick gear hack. I mean, I know we've got that back panel sleeve for stuff, but usually when I'm flying through the airport, I'm kind of trying to cram as much stuff as possible. You can also put socks and little items inside your boots, and then maybe on the way home, your dirty stuff in there too. Yeah, it's a good hack. Sweet, well that's kind of the overview of our uh, boot bag. Cam, you travel quite a bit for skiing. Can you tell me how this compares to other boots, boot bags you've tried? Yeah, absolutely. One of the biggest features of this bag is just being able to store all your gear inside it comfortably and with extra space. Other bags that I've used, you know, you typically will tie your straps together, your boots, hang them over your shoulders, or you're carrying them in your hand. If it's wet and you're walking through a parking lot, your boots get wet. So it's really nice to have all of your gear inside the bag with extra space. Tons of extra pockets in this thing, uh, in addition to the extra boot storage space. You can carry all the gear you need to get through the airport, travel with passports, documents, etc. So it's an awesome piece, comfortable to wear. I think it's got some pretty unique features. Like I love that you can put a water bottle on the sides. I haven't really seen that in a boot bag before, but it's nice just when you're walking around if you want that handy. Also, I think the integration between the two bags is also pretty unique. I've never really seen that before, and it's nice that you can just hook the two together and just roll it out. Ease of travel was definitely in mind when designing these bags. and. We have an awesome system to show you how that integrates into the roller bags. Up next, we do have our double ski and snowboard rolling bag. This one was really popular last year, so we're excited to talk about it again and dive into some of those details. Similarly to the boot bag, you're going to see a lot of the same materials and the same color palette as well, starting with that 
PVC outer fabric to make things durable and weather resistant. And then a lot of storage like the boot bag as well and those integration points so you can put them together and roll your way out of cool. the airport. Well, let's dive in and see what it looks like. First off, we just want to mention on the outside, we've got these nice straps here. They cinch down, so if you have some extra space, you can make it nice and snug. All these buckles are really easy, super big, super easy to pop off. So as you can see here, you've got two big mesh pockets. So you can store a lot of things, whether that's clothes, gloves, socks, whatever you want really in there. Yeah, when I'm traveling with skis or boards, I love to use these big inner pockets and the free space around my skis to add my base layers or outerwear. It saves room in my carry-on and it also protects the gear inside your roller bag. Totally, yeah. I usually like to wrap my bindings with clothes just to make sure those are nice and protected. And then I just fill that space. Sometimes, honestly, I can fit some shoes in there too. And this bag in particular has an awesome protective layer between the double ski slots with additional cinch straps on the inside to keep everything locked in tight and not rattling against each other. Yeah, we've got a nice waterproof lining, so if you are putting in some wet equipment, it is gonna keep it nice and contained. It's not gonna bleed outside your bag and get your car or anything else wet. One of my favorite features of this bag is the roll top. New this year is some added length in conjunction with that roll top. So you can fit up to a 195 length ski. And if you ride something shorter, being able to roll that thing down uh, allows you to customize the bag to whatever length ski or board you ride. And it also doubles as a super nice handle. Yeah, and one thing I do wanna mention is that Cam did say that we have these bags upgraded this year. It's 195 centimeters in length. The Pika cold brew color does still just come in the 190, so it is a little bit shorter. So we've got a couple different color options, a lot of variety in size, um, and yeah, I think we should talk about our favorite thing with this bag. It does have the wheels on the bottom. You can roll the bag. This is nice because I have totally traditionally just used regular, normal ski bags. You just kind of hold them, carry them. And you don't think it's that bad, but when you have two pairs of skis and you're walking from one terminal to another that's really far, it gets heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The days of lugging your ski bag through airports on your shoulder or trying to cradle it under your arm are over. The wheels on this thing make travel so much more convenient. All that being said, there are some really good handles. Cam did mention that the roll top does double as one. These two here is nice if you want to kind of pull it up like this. You also have a little side carry if you want to do more like a suitcase carry. Either way, lots of good options. Yeah, even a handle on the bottom so that you and your buddy can team up if you've got lots of gear. Some of the littler features on this bag that are also appreciated are a little slot for ID, phone number, in case your bag gets lost. Um, the straps on the front also have these cool little carabiner loops. You can attach more gear when you're traveling. And there is kind of this oversized pocket on the front. Again, extra gear, extra clothing, any travel documents you need, whatever yeah. you want to fit in there, there's plenty of room. <laughs> Yeah, I like this pocket for those quick grab items, things I like to be able to have on hand pretty easily, like gloves and snacks, stuff like that. Well, as we're wrapping up the double ski and snowboard rolling bag, just want to mention that, like the name double, it does fit two pairs. So we do have two pairs of skis with their bindings on here. We did mention you can fit other clothes, socks, shoes, things to help pad and fill that space. It also fits two snowboards as well. You can fit them with your bindings on. It's up to you. It does take a little bit more space when you have both those bindings together, but if you do take it off, say you're gonna go ride in Japan and you wanna bring your split board for powder wraps and then you want a resort board too, you can basically just bring one pair of bindings and then put the two together and just slot in all your other stuff around it. I think that about wraps us up. Let's uh, talk about the integration and how these two bags come together. Looking at the integration of these two bags, there are two spots for skis and so there are also going to be two spots for two boot bags if you're traveling with your ski buddy or your significant other. Okay, sweet. Well, let's uh, put the bags on and show them how it's done. So at the top of the boot bag, you're going to notice these two black hooks and then on the roller bag, there are two nylon loops uh, on the front pocket for you yeah. to attach them. We have the two up here and the two down here so you can double up. Sweet, yeah, well let's put this on. Those are super easy, like carabiner-esque clips that simply snap on and that bag will then hug the roller. You can grab the handle at either end and carry this thing super easily. 
All right, now we're gonna throw a second bag on here just to show you guys the double setup. Again, black clips at the top of the boot bag, integrate with the little loops on the front of the ski bag. Yeah. Yeah, so we love the double setup. It's pretty cool. One person can grab luggage and the others can grab ski bag and you can strap them all together to yeah. wheel out. And then you're just on your way, ready to go. Well, that wraps up a quick look at our boot bag and double ski and snowboard roller bag. Kat, what were some of the standout features for you? Yeah, well, I love that you can integrate these um, together. I think that's honestly a very unique feature. I love the water bottle pocket. I just always love having my Nalgene with me. Comes in some pretty sweet colors. I'm pretty excited about that this year. Yeah, whether you like the standard black bag or some of these awesome colors that we've shown you today, you've got something to mix and match for, for everybody on the travel trip. I think it's nice to add a little flair, a little style. It also makes it super easy to find when you're at the airport. For sure. I have anxiety when I'm sitting there at the carousel. I'm like, where is my bag? But these will help you find it quickly. Sweet. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about luggage, travel gear, bags, reach out to a gearhead today. Sweet, we'll see you guys out there.